Most of you have heard it. There is a sing-along chorus. Please do. The arching sky is calling spacemen back to their trade. All hands stand by free falling and the lights below us fade. Outride the sons of terror, fire drives the thundering jet. Out leaps the race of Earthmen, out far and onward yet. We pray for one last landing on the globe that gave us birth. Let us rest our eyes on the fleecy skies and the cool green hills of earth. We've sailed the endless vacuum, seen many wondrous things. From the harsh bright soil of Luna to great Saturn's rainbow rings. We've tried each spinning space mode and reckoned its true worth. Take us back again to the homes of men and the cool green hills of earth. Ni pleja finan sur teron che ni anaskas fer permitun in vida la la ne kai che loi ke la verdai monte toi de la te. My final watch is over. My travels nearing their end, and my only wish is to feel home soil beneath me once again. Let the sweet fresh breezes heal me as they rove around the girth of our lovely mother planet of the cool green hills of earth. We pray for one last landing on the globe that gave us birth. Let us rest our eyes on the fleecy sky. I'm sorry, is that again? Could you have me made up the cover? It's right behind you. Thank you. Is there a doctor in that? <laughs> okay. Well, it's time to get silly. Um, so many great concepts in science fiction, but let's talk a moment about cryogenics. They freeze you. You go to sleep for however long. Wake up in a day when they can cure your disease, when the world is hopefully a better place. I'll, what could go wrong? <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Johnson. I'm your orientation counselor. I am here to help you adjust to our time. The cold sleep doctors tell me that you are recovering nicely. Soon you'll be on solids. You'll be sound as a dime. Time? No. Dollar. Dollar! Yes, <laughs> now I understand why you might be a bit upset with us, sir. After all, no one will answer all those questions that you ask. But we thought you should be stronger, and I had to learn your language. And besides, the doctor's implants are not programmed for that task. Yes, sir, the language has changed a lot. But they plug me in each night, and soon I'll have it down hot. No. Cold. Now, Mr. Johnson, 
Here is your financial position. In a word, you're broke, sir. I'll tell you the tale. Seems you had a nephew by the name of Mortimer Maxwell. Had a court declare that you had kicked the pail. Pail? No. Bucket. Bucket. Yes. Yes, I know. Now today, of course, such things would not be tolerated. There are laws protecting frozen assets, but they came after your day. And in fact, that court decision was reversed 18 years later. But by that time, Mort had, pardon me, sir, pissed it all away. <laughs> Please, sir, it hurts my ears when you scream. And you really do no good by crying over spilled cream. No. Milk. Calm down, Mr. Johnson. I checked our employment computer, and we found a job that will help pay your way. You're of vital interest to our top historical scholars. Answering their questions suits you to a J. J. No. T. T. Yes. Yes, I know that when you went to sleep in 2037, it was just for 50 years, but your awakening was late, because we had to raise the funds, and the economy's been tight and well. To make it short, I welcome you to 3068. <laughs> For now, that's all that I have to say. So you just lie back and rest now, sir, and hap, 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 have a nice day. <laughs> Mostly I'm using this half hour for original stuff, but I'm known for doing horrible things to my friends, so I have to stick in a little something. Um, how many of you were at Seanan's concert? Yeah. So this is what I did to Seanan. <laughs> this is, well, Mirav came up with the title, but it's mostly my fault. We don't play fair, we're obnoxious and sneaky and pushy. We're tree climbing rats, though we're cute with our tails so bushy. <laughs> we're reavers and thieves, and we never look back. We're always out searching for new yards to sack. We'll pillage the gardens and plunder each feeder we've found. Then scamper back up to the clouds, leaving shells on the ground. <laughs> Debbie just wanted a garden that she could grow plants in. <laughs> but when she saw what we had done there, she started in ranting. <laughs> we ate every shoot, we left no trace of green. The things that she called us were really obscene. But we choose to be evil and sneer from our perch in the sky. Where flowers are fables and produce a fairy tale lie. Goldfinch and sparrow and robin and wren, we've stolen your food and we'll steal it again. And Ernie and Tink think we're awful, but then who listens to fairies and elves? Uh -huh. Millet and thistle and sunflower seed. These are the things that we crave and we need, so we're happy to be, although some call it greed, wicked squirrels feeding ourselves. <laughs> yes, we're wicked squirrels feeding ourselves. I'll be doing Debbie song in my set tomorrow. Cool. I, you see, it's shirt in the dealer's room with squirrel with the caption, hey, Judy, your bird feeder is empty. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, no, I do not have five minutes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Shannon's exact reaction to that was, I'm going to kill you with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> what did Debbie say? The guy who was sitting between us in the circle looked perturbed. <laughs> Debbie, was, Debbie is always nice. <laughs> uh, what did I have up next? Except over that one shirt. Yeah. <laughs> we all have our limits. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had a set list here and it went away. <laughs> What's that, Lassie? Is there a set list in the well? <laughs> set list well, in screw the well. that. Um, <laughs> instead, let's go back to here. I apologize. All right. Let's do something collaborative here. Let's get some. And then a bass slide. Ooh. 
Well, the wizards, undead warriors, went out for a ride. They totaled my whole village, I had no place to hide. Now my Siamese twin is hanging dead at my side, and my dog don't like the smell. <laughs> my world's been destroyed, I'm really depressed, and really annoyed, cause I'm off on a quest. My life on the road is not one I choose. I got them is it life a bitch in a heroic fantasy blue. <laughs> So I'm eating dust, my horse kicks up and cursing my fate. I keep falling off a saddle, which I really hate. But it's hard to keep your balance when your partner's dead weight. And my sunburn hurts like hell. I've slaughtered some thralls, escaped from some traps. Been beaten and mauled till I'm ready to snap. My whole body feels like one giant bruise. I got them is in life a bitch in a heroic fantasy balloon. Then just when things look hopeless and I'm sure to get killed, the gods decide my victory is what they should will. I even got my brother back, which ain't no great thrill, cause I never liked him that well. <laughs> I'm only a pawn in some stupid game. These things are a yawn, man, they all end the same. What pawn is the fight when you know you can't lose? I got them isn't life a bitch in a hero. Fantasy Blues. <laughs> Stupid app lost my set list. <laughs> it tasted great. <laughs> Well, as long as I've got a crowd here that obviously, or mostly, knows Filk. Um, Debbie is always gracious about such things. So is Cat Favor. <laughs> oh, yes. This is the one I did to her a little while back. <laughs> and there is a sing-along chorus. You can blame bad education, you can claim they're all inbred, but the good old boys won't answer cause they're already dead. When the wounds are self-inflicted, there's a truth that's shining clear. Every act of destruction starts with hold my beer. <laughs> When you're tripping on your shadow and you can't quite feel your tongue, are you sure this is the time to play with dynamite and guns? There's a reason, there's a Darwin category named for you. Every act of destruction is an act of brew. <laughs> You can claim they had education, you can claim they're all inbred, but the good old boys won't answer cause they're already dead. When the wounds are self-inflicted, there's a truth that's shining clear. Every act of destruction starts with hold my fear. When you use your riding lawnmower to leap over the gorge, <laughs> when you're grabbing things barehanded at the local blacksmith's forge, <laughs> don't blame God for all your troubles. This is nothing that divine. Every act of destruction is an act of shine. You can blame bad education, you can claim they're all inbred, but the good old boys won't answer cause they're already dead. When the wounds are self-inflicted, there's a truth that's shining clear. Every act of destruction starts with hold my beer. <coughs> when the Jaegers choose to shun you for the way you lost your hat, 
When you made Wiley Coyote say, I didn't teach him that, <laughs> when you brought on total chaos. There's one concept you should master. Every act of destruction is an act of galactic gargle blaster. <laughs> you can blame bad education. You can claim they're all inbred. But the good old boys won't answer because they're already dead. When the wounds are self-inflicted, there's a truth that's shining clear. Every act of destruction starts with hold my beer. Every act of destruction starts with hold my beer. Now watch this. <laughs> Or oh, hell, I can do that. <laughs> that target's big enough. <laughs> okay, I'm just coming. Well, uh, since you seem to be having so much fun singing along, some of you heard this in the open the other night, but this is very recent. Facebook can act as a prompt sometimes. Uh -uh. There was a meme going around Facebook that a few of my friends shared. It said, the way Southerners say sweet Jesus implies the existence of umami Jesus, spicy Jesus, bitter Jesus, sour Jesus, and salty Jesus. <laughs> I thought about that for a minute, and my response was, actually, I think it implies the existence of umami Buddha, spicy Allah, bitter Jehovah, sour Odin, and salty Cthulhu. <laughs> My favorite response to that was the person who commented, Sour Odin is my new band name. <laughs> <laughs> but a day and a half after I wrote that, I was up in the middle of the night, as happens sometimes, and this happened. Once a foolish mortal read the Necronomicon, calling to elder gods deep in the sea, and he chanted and screamed as the eldritch horror filled his brain, Fool summon Salty Cthulhu with me. Salty Cthulhu, Salty Cthulhu, Fool summon Salty Cthulhu with me. And he chanted and screamed as the eldritch horror filled his brain. Who'll summon Salty Cthulhu with me? I felt that was enough of that one. <laughs> <laughs> that one was 999, Cthulhu the Salt Lick. <laughs> How am I doing on time? Oh, I could do two more. So, should I? Any requests? Oh, all right. I was planning to do that. A love song. Something Cole Porter-ish. Or at least in my attempt to do something Cole Porter-ish. One. I've just been told to stop, but... This room is different. I'm sorry? This room is different. It is. Why? Because we're focused. We don't have a lot of time. We don't have a lot of time to do that. Oh. Why is this room different from all other rooms? <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I'm just going to skip ahead to the closer. Randy <laughs> <laughs> says ignore the people at the door and go on. TV okay, and yes. quickly. When it comes to women, I've dated a few dear, fat and thin, most every race. But I never found one until I met you, dear. Who could solve this dilemma we humans all face? Before I would always confuse love and lust, dear, of my motives I never was sure. But since we're together, I know I can trust, dear, that all of my feelings are totally pure. Those other relationships were mostly sexual, but with you, dear, I know that it's all intellectual. Though you're only a brain in a jar, I love you, dear. I've no wish to kiss you for your all great tissue. It's just not an issue at all. There's no hormonal pain here to mar my thoughts of you, dear. I put that behind me, and you don't remind me of what used to bind me in thrall. Though our spirits may meld, my libido's been quelled. I'm no longer enspelled by that hex. 
I've climbed from that vortex. I just want your cortex pulsating under Pyrex. <laughs> Though you're only a grain in a jar, I adore you, dear. I think it quite grand that I can't hold your hand. Guys who live by their glands are all saps. There's no way to explain just how far I'd go for you, dear. I get lost in admiring your implanted wiring and treasure each firing synapse. Yes, I'll be a bow and I'll never let go long as you produce no pheromones. As I change your fluid, I sometimes think who would have known that someday I'd find true love with a mind of my own. <laughs> and my upper range just completely abandoned me. Okay, last thing then, and turn serious again. Um, much of what I do in Filk is devoted to trying to welcome people, bring them in, let everyone know that everyone has a place here, everyone is free to express themselves. And that's why I wrote this. Please do sing along. Hi, hi, it's good to see you. No, we haven't met, but I've worn the expression I see there on your face. That mix of hope and wonder and a little fear and doubt that most of us remember from when we first found this place. It's really just a small town, though it stretches round the globe and the village squares a circle like the one you're in today. And it's thrilling and it's daunting as you try to take it in. So I thought that I should stop and smile and take your hand and say, Welcome home, though your face may be new. Welcome home, we've been waiting for you. Take your place and sing your song here. There's no way to do it wrong here. Welcome home, you do belong here. Welcome home, welcome home. Yes, we'd love to hear you. No, that's not a rule. Whether you perform or not will always be your choice. But if you feel the yearning and don't know where to start, Maybe we can sit with you and help you find your voice. Some write, some sing, some strum or bow, and some can do it all. But all of us are listeners, and that's what makes us strong. And if the key's elusive, well, that will come with time. Just sing for joy and for yourself, and we'll all sing along. Welcome home, though your face may be new. Welcome home, we've been waiting for you. Take your place and sing your song here. There's no way to do it wrong here. Welcome home, you do belong here. Welcome home, welcome home. We'll try to keep you safe here. But people make mistakes. There may be time we're, times we're thoughtless and leave you sick and sore. We hope that you'll forgive us and take the risk again of letting music draw you in to sit with us once more. And if you've come to listen and maybe harmonize, we thank you and we value you for we know what you bring. Community is sharing, joy shared is multiplied. And even when the mouth is still, the heart and soul can sing. So welcome to our village, welcome to our town. We hope you make new friends and find the things you love to do. And maybe as time passes, you'll find that it's your turn to offer up an empty seat and say to someone new, 
Welcome home, though your face may be new. Welcome home, we've been waiting for you. Take your place and sing your song here. There's no way to do it wrong here. Welcome home, you do belong here. Welcome home, welcome home. Welcome home, welcome home. Welcome home, welcome home. Thank you all so much.